Joining us now is the CEO of Puck Hockey, Matt Marini, with us on the Megacast. Matt, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. I appreciate having you on. So Puck Hockey uh, is uh, a, a Michigan-based brand. It is a premium hockey apparel brand. What inspired you to begin uh, this apparel brand, uh, uh, this uh, a brand of hockey apparel specifically? And what sets Puck Hockey apparel apart from other hockey apparel that you can get uh, from a, num a number of different outlets? Well, what started me um, to build the brand was I was actually looking for hockey apparel and I just couldn't find anything that I really liked that went with my kind of style that you know I was looking for and you know I it just frustrated me to the point where I you know I've been a branding guy kind of my whole life um, and I discussed it with my partner Amy and I was like I can't find anything I like to wear that's a hockey brand and you know she said make one <laughs> and that's kind of where it started and um right from that second i was like you know what that's a great idea i'm going to do that and that's where puck hockey got its start was just because i wasn't really liking what was already out there and um we are different from other hockey brands in the way that we um we're a little more, you know, we try to be more fashion forward and, you know, using, selecting the garments that we make or that we put out. And then, you know, all of our band collaborations happened, which has been absolutely amazing. And we had no idea that that was going to happen. And it's just kind of continued to grow and grow and grow. And now, you know, we're to the point where I'm getting bands reaching out to the brand um, along with, you know, of course I reach out to bands and management and labels as well. But now, like I said, we're at a point where we're getting, we're getting attention and we're getting people approaching us to do collaborations. So it's been really fun, been a crazy ride. Yeah, and it's interesting too because uh, just looking at your website and looking at some of the collection that you have uh, at, at puckhockey.com, that's puck H H C K Y, as you can see if you're viewing us on uh, the megacast behind uh, Matt at his office there, uh, .com, puckhockey.com, uh, it's not just hockey specific apparel. It's not just those, you know, the signature hockey sweater that everyone knows they've seen on the ice before if they're watching college hockey, if they're watching the Red Wings or the NHL or uh, international hockey during the Olympic season like this. Uh, there's a lot of different a lot of different apparel as, as well that it's all about the same similar design uh, as the hockey specific apparel. So what what made you focus partially on making that fashion forward apparel that was very similar to what you would see in the hockey community because I wouldn't think conventionally speaking that hockey specific apparel like those hockey sweatshirts would be very would be something of great interest to a wide public but clearly it definitely is yes we and it's funny that you mentioned that because of the appeal you know of who we do collaborate with the you know the bands that we collaborate with and other entities we collaborate with like take metallica for example we um you know here's a metallica jersey that we make and um you know a band like that that has the reach that they have you know worldwide it's given us great attention from you know hundreds of thousands to millions of people and it's just been, like I said, the collaboration part of it, we didn't anticipate growing to this level. And it's just been amazing for the brand because when people see the Metallica collection or Alice in Chains, you know, then they, you know, they do come to see the Puck Hockey brand collection and our Shoot Pucks Not People brand is very, very big right now as well. So, you know, it's all kind of tied together. And, you know, we have the two kind of avenues, you know, we have the band collaborations and then we have our puck hockey brand stuff. So we kind of have two roads and um, they come together and people really, really like it. They love the quality of our products. And, you know, where you, 
you know how you call out we have more than just hockey jerseys and that was definitely a plan from day one was to be you know a fashion brand and we have other accessories you know we make actual pucks um for example cool godzilla collaboration that we're doing with the actual godzilla franchise and you know we're making pucks we have just you know we have a wide variety of items and it that was kind of the plan and it's um it's going in the right direction it's really fun and people like i said people love discovering us and you know they come back for more stuff once they see the quality and we're really 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 um particular about what we use and maintaining that high level of quality yeah, and you mentioned the collaborations. You mentioned a couple of the Metallica and Allison Chains, but I mean, uh, in Chains, uh, but uh, there's there's a long list of, of these different bands, different artists uh, from all different all different areas. Of course, you got the me- the metal bands uh, like Metallica. You got uh, other rock bands as well, Allison Chains. You even got Snoop Dogg as a collaboration. Uh, and, and so, wh- where did these collaborations begin? Uh, even better, where did the brand begin, and how far along the road in developing puck hockey did you end up having such interest from all these different uh, major figureheads in music and in sports and in other pop culture areas? It's funny because, again, you know, we never anticipated these collaborations happening the way they did, but once we launched the puck hockey brand and when we initially launched the brand we were working with an ex red wing now tomash tatar mm-hmm. and we came out with a tatar collaboration and that got a lot of attention and just because of you know who i am and my interests in the music scene i go to a lot of concerts and i happen to be wearing a piece of puck hockey apparel when we went to a concert, it was 36 Crazy Fists, the band out of Alaska. And the guys were like, what in the heck is puck hockey? So when I told them, you know, it was our fashion brand, we kind of right there on the spot were like, wow, why don't we collaborate and make a 36 Crazy Fists jersey? And that's where the that's where the idea initially came from. And it's just grown and grown from there. Once people, you know, started seeing the collaboration with 36 Crazy Fists, it's just grown and grown. And that led me to, you know, take advantage of the relationships that I've had in the past with record labels and management and bands. And it just one thing led to another. And we kept adding, adding, adding. And like I said, to the point now where we're, you know, it's kind of a two way street where, you know, I don't have to chase every band, you know, but it's just been, it's been fantastic. It really has. We're joined by Matt Marini, CEO of Puck Hockey, joining us on the Megacast, a premium hockey apparel brand. Learn more information by visiting their website, Puck H-C-K-Y, Puck Hockey H-C-K-Y. Dot com uh, to learn more uh, about all the different products, all the different collaborations, uh, and find more info on all the different products that they that they provide, as well as well as uh, um, customized products that you can find as well, and get more information on all of that. And so, um, Matt, any any sort of collaboration? You mentioned uh, the Tomas Tatar was someone that uh, you collaborated with early on, or you had an interaction with early on, uh, being that this is a, a hockey apparel related brand uh, or inspired by hockey apparel specifically, uh, even in, in down to the name Puck Hockey, uh, any sort of collaboration with players, that, uh, with professional hockey players or with uh, even the NHL or NHL teams in the future is something that you're working on or something that's even possible for a brand like this, a great local brand? We actually, yes, that's really cool that you mentioned that. And we are local. We make everything by hand and um, we're, you know, we're a small brand, but we're really growing. And yes, it's funny you mentioned because I am in discussion right now with a few NHL players to join the brand and have their own, um, their own line of apparel. Um, And I don't know you know, what's in the future as far as dealing directly with the NHL or NHL teams, that's quite a process, but we have not, you know, we've not eliminated that idea by any stretch. It would be incredible to be able to, you know, collaborate with some NHL teams and, you know, other, other leagues, 
you know, I'm also in contact with, you know, some of the junior leagues, um, the AHL. So we'll see, you know, how that pans out as well. Um, you know, along with promoting our own brand and all of our collaborations. So yes, very exciting where we're headed. No question about it. We're joined by Matt Marini, CEO of Puck Hockey, joining us on the MegaCast, the premium hockey apparel brand located right here in the state of Michigan on the Michigan MegaCast. Uh, more information on their website, puckhockey.com. That is puckhcky.com. Uh, Matt, do you have a physical location for, for a store, or is all your sales uh, done through your website? Uh, we do actually have a physical location. We're on Main Street in Berkeley, um, and we are open every day except for Sundays. And we do have, you know, things in store, obviously, to buy. And what's really kind of cool, because we hand make everything, and you know right here in house what's really interesting is that we have people that come in looking for something and if we don't have exactly what they want on the shelf we can custom make it right here um, in the store and blows people's minds and you know again we're right on 12 mile in berkeley and um yeah come on in and see us and i think you'll i think people will be pretty impressed with you know what we what we have here's one of our flannels shoot pucks not people which is one of our you know our huge brand that we you know is really really you know makes a lot of sense right now in today's times and people come in and they see the shoot pucks not people and they're just like oh man that is a great great brand and um you know it continues to grow as well and you can learn more information on the website, puckhcky.com, puckhcky.com, about all the different brands, all the different products, uh, as well as information on customization of products as well. Should you like to, uh, should you like to make some of your own customized, uh, customized products from Puck Hockey and their premium hockey apparel brand? And so I want to talk about, about that advertising note too, premium hockey apparel brand. Now, when people think premium, they're thinking one of two things. They're either thinking, okay, this is going to be ridiculously expensive, uh, especially for an apparel brand advertising itself as premium, or they're going to think this is really highly uh, made with, high, with really high quality and really intricately designed. Sometimes it's a fusion of both. So for those that may be uh, having some concerns of this is a great brand and I'd really love to wear some of this apparel or uh, get some of these products, uh, or or they're and on the on the more optimistic note, saying these are really great. These look these look amazing. They are made with high quality. Uh, can you speak to the, the price range of different products that you have, uh, and if they and uh, what range they are affordable in? Absolutely, and you know, it's what you just said. Going along with that, we do try to obviously maintain the highest quality products that we can possibly find while keeping them reasonably priced. We don't want to, you know, overprice our products to anybody. And we have, we have products that start, you know, our pucks, you know, are like 1999 and we have t-shirts that, you know, go from 1999 to 2999. And then, you know, we have different items at different price points all the way up to the professional level jerseys that we make. So we even offer, like two different styles of jerseys that have two different price points just in case, you know, it, people do find them too expensive or they want to try one before they commit to, you know, the higher priced one. But, you know, everything we do again is of the finest quality that we can find from our Jersey crests to our patches, to our lace up hoodies, to our flannel shirts, everything that we do, you know, we search for the highest quality things that we can find, and we're really proud of the items that we offer. And you would be surprised on our social media and, you know, people that come into the actual store and say, you know, dude, I bought this flannel and it is so nice. Thank you so much. Um, the quality is great. The pricing was reasonable. So we are very, very conscious of that. So I'm glad you brought that up and mentioned it. 
And what's great too is that in supporting a, a brand like this that, that's doing such great work and making uh, such interesting products as well and a variety of those products, it's, you, get su you get to support a local business also. This isn't something where you know, you're buying a great brand, but all these products are made overseas. They may be made in questionable circumstances. You're making everything, nope. and you're producing everything here in Michigan. Absolutely, right in house. And But we do, you'd be amazed at where we get orders from because of our collaborations, we ship literally worldwide. It's crazy. I love seeing, you know, where our orders come from and then connecting with people that are in, you know, different countries, different areas of the world. It's just, it just blows your mind. It's really, really fun, really cool. And that makes it, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, it just makes it fun for everybody to be like, Hey, did you see that order that came in from Italy or wherever, you know, it's just, in every state in the union it's just it's really mind-blowing and of course canada and it's just again it's just really fun really great to connect with our consumers you know and we even let you know we people email us ideas for designs and we encourage that you know and we'll take things into consideration and we have our in-house designer that you know i work with super close and again, it's just really fun turning out these ideas and seeing what they turn into. It's great. Get in contact with them at contact us at puckhockey.com. Contact us at P-U-C-K-H-C-K-Y.com or visiting their website and filling out their contact form, puckhockey.com. We're joined by their CEO, uh, Matt Marini, on the Megacast. Matt, just another couple minutes with you. Anything else that uh, you would like our audience to know about your product uh, at this time or any other topics we haven't discussed today? Um, just really, really focusing on you know, the quality of the products, the branding, the direction we're heading with it, our collaborations, you know, we're growing day by day and we're actually branching out. You know, it seems like, you know, a lot of our um, collaboration partners are, you know, heavy, kind of heavy music, but we're branching out beyond just heavy stuff. You know, we have some rap, coming we have some big big launches uh coming with some really big artists that i think people are going to be genuinely surprised with so we've probably got another um probably dozen to you know 20 artists that we haven't even we haven't even launched yet and you know we've got some big ones like and i can probably unveil it here we've got uh sure. Guns N' Roses collaboration coming soon, as well as Black Sabbath and um, Rob Zombie. So we've got some really fun, cool things. And then, like I said, we do have some actual NHL players coming. And, uh, you know, we're just branching out in all kinds of directions. And we don't want to be pigeonholed, you know, as only having, you know, heavy artists because we, we're branching out into all kinds of different things and you know the the godzilla collaboration was something really unique for us that's really fun that's going to grow so you know we encourage people to come see us come to the store meet us you know shake our hand talk to us we're open to we love talking to people that are you know that show an interest in the brand it's really fun and um we just want to be known as that cool you know that cool little company that you know happens to work with Guns N' Roses, <laughs> you know? It's great, it's really, really fun. And it blows people's minds. They're just like, what, no way. And we have, you know, our stuff makes really unique gifts for people and, you know, people, when they see the stuff, again, when you see it, it just blows their mind. So, you know, with Valentine's Day coming up, giving a jersey to your loved one <laughs> or a hat or anything, even stickers, whatever. It's just, again, it just blows people's minds. And, you know, I just can't emphasize enough from the, you know, our hats and stickers and T-shirts and raglans and flannels, hats, everything. Again, we strive to make it the highest quality that we possibly can. And that's, that's first and foremost. So, and we really like that people appreciate that and they're noticing it. You know, our hard work is not going for no reason. People really like what we put out and we love that. 
Well, Matt, thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate your time and telling us more about this great Michigan brand. Thank you so much for having me. And again, go to puckhockey.com, www.puckhcky.com. And uh, it's fantastic. And check us out where, you, you know, our social media is consistent and we're always putting up cool stuff with our collaboration partners. And uh, yeah, every day is something new. So come definitely see us if you're local or coming to town. Definitely come on in and say hi. At their store in Berkeley and online, puckhockey.com, puckhcky.com. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.